if you're looking for an ultra lightweight trailer that you can still tow with a small SUV or Jeep, this 2022 Forest River R-Pod model 192 may just be the perfect camper you're looking for. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas again. And today we're gonna take a look at the 2022 Forest River R-Pod model 192. This particular trailer comes in at just under 3,300 pounds empty and is gonna be about 22 feet 11 inches in overall length. This is by far one of R-Pod's most popular models, mainly because it is one of their lightest longer models and this one will feature a murphy bed and it's not just any murphy bed this is a 60 by 80 inch true queen bed you've got a huge bathroom the optional bush kitchen asdell sidewalls enclosed underbelly central vac this thing is fully loaded and it's got a ton of great perks and amenities in it we're going to do an interior next year walk around video tour today and pardon any wind noise it's always windy anytime I try to record these videos here in the Texas Panhandle but let's go ahead and jump on to the inside. So one of the things a lot of people really like about this particular model is the fact that you have full travel access all the time. So as you don't have any slide outs this is what you'll see all the time. You don't have to worry about can you get to something or can you not get to something and you know, there's pros and cons each way, but a lot of people do prefer no slide outs, especially in the smaller campers. Now up here, you can see that you do have a Murphy bed. And one of the benefits of the Murphy bed is that you get a sofa and a dinette and a queen bed in under 30 feet. And that's really hard to do and still have, you know, a good kitchen, a good bathroom, unless you have a Murphy bed. <clears throat> So you can see you've got the sofa here and we'll, I'll show you how this works here in just a little bit. You can see you've got the great side stands on both sides of the bed. You can have household and USB outlets on both sides of the sofa or bed, just depending on, you know, which mode you're using it in. Now, one of the things that people really like about this camper too is the great door side window coverage. So you can see you've got a huge window right outside your dinette, perfect for whenever you're um, sitting there, eat, you know, eating your breakfast, drinking your morning cup of coffee. You can look out at your campsite, not your neighbors. And then you've got the window in the entry door. Now that's a full viewing window and it is thin shade ready. So you can always add that aftermarket. You could, you know, you could argue that you need a shade in there from the factory, but that's just gonna add a little bit of extra cost. Now right here is gonna be your main control panel. So you've got your awning controls and your slide out controls, or I'm, I'm sorry, uh, not slide out. This doesn't have any slide outs. Lighting controls is what I meant to say. And then you're prepped for the solar panel up on the roof. So if you did wanna add a Go Power or you know whatever brand of solar panel of your choice, um, you could put it on the roof and this is where the controller would go. Now over here, you've got your two bench dinette. Again, you've got that great big window there. One of the things that is always nice about having a bench dinette is this will make a bed. So if you have a grandkid or somebody that's gonna come with you, they can easily sleep there. Now down here, you are going to have a little bit of extra storage right there for some shoes. Behind this uh, this back bench is where your 12 volt TV is located. Now that's one of the things that RPOD switched to, uh, for the 2021 model changes. And I really like that, you know, since these are smaller campers, they're kind of designed to be off grid capable, so to speak. And so, you know, you can still have watch TV, catch up on the news, check the weather, things like that. Up top here, you are going to have your central air conditioner. This one, I believe, is a 13,500 BTU. There is a 15K AC option available. 
Um, we may have put the 15K on here. I just don't remember. Um, but it is non-central, non-ducted. But the nice thing about it is it is thermostatically controlled. And the thermostat for that will be right here. That controls your AC and your heat. Which is really nice in a smaller camper. A lot of them are using ceiling controls for the air conditioner. And that does cost a little bit more money to do it this way. But a lot of people prefer that. Here's your kitchen area. We'll come back and open up all the storage here in just a minute. Now, underneath the refrigerator, you can see you've got your central vacuum system. Now, that doesn't come with any of the hoses, but it is an electric dust pan. And then you've got your breakers and fuses. And then underneath that pantry there is where your furnace is located. Now, right above your TV is where your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system is. This has HDMI and USB plugs, so if you did want to add a CD DVD player or a Blu-ray player or something, you can easily wire it into the TV. Which is always a good thing, you know. It uh, Some people still use DVD players. I don't. I'm kind of a, more of a streaming uh, media person myself, and you could always hook up a Chrome Chrome uh, Chromecast stick or Fire TV stick or something. But real quick, let's go ahead and I do want to show you how this Murphy bed operates. All right, guys. So as we come up here, I'll show you how this Murphy bed operates. So you've got it in sofa mode, as you can see right now. And all you do is you lift up on the front of the sofa. This will fold down like so. And then you've got this little latch right here. And all you do is pull that towards the center of the trailer. This will fold down. So it is a bendy bed meaning it's kind of hard to get a full residential queen size mattress in here because the mattress does have to fold. But the nice thing about that is it's, you know, you've got the one latch. It's really easy to do. You can see back in there, you've got the window that is gonna open. You're also gonna have cubby holes on each side of the bed. And I'll show you that a little closer here in just a minute. But it's that simple and you could always put on like a foam topper or something you know memory foam that you could roll up back behind there kind of like where this box is but to put it back away all you do is lift up pull that out it'll latch into place like so and then all you do is lift up on the front till you get to where it's a 90 degree angle and then pull towards the rear of the trailer with the back of the sofa and it's that simple. So I hope that you appreciate that uh, we take the extra time to show you how that kind of stuff works. And if you did hit that like button, leave us a comment saying that, you know, something like, uh, thanks for showing us how the Murphy bed operates or something like that. But let's go ahead and open up all this storage and take a look at that. So I've got all the storage opened up and I would want to start first by showing you these little cubby holes back here. So you're gonna have two of those on each side of the bed. I really wish those would have power outlets and you can also see that that window does have, uh, or that window up front does open. It has a privacy shade that comes up from the bottom and a bug screen that comes down from the top. So it's a, what they call a European style window. Now on each side of the bed, you're gonna have these backlit wardrobes. Those are your hanging closets. So you have two of those. And then over here, you're gonna have a little bit of storage underneath those side stands. So same kind of thing over there. And then you can see you've got your wardrobe space there as well. Now, if we dig into the kitchen, you can see that you've got a very nice sized ward, or not wardrobe, but cabinetry space here. Our pod uses pocket screwed cabinetry. So if you feel back here where the two pieces of wood come together, this is has a screw and then there's glue back in here. That way it's, it's more of a premium level cabinetry than say a stapled uh, cabinet that a lot of these lighter weight trailers are using. You've got a two burner cooktop, nice big sink with the high rise faucet and cover there. So you can see very big size sink. You've got the flip up glass cover for the two burner cooktop as well. And if we bend down over here, you can see that you've got uh, household outlets 
right there. And you've actually got your tank monitoring panel right here as well. I know that's not the best angle, um, but that's also where your water pump and water heater switches are. Now, down below, you've got your convection oven microwave, good pots and pans storage there as well. Now, every countertop in here is going to be a pressed membrane thermal foil style countertop. So it's water resistant, meaning if you spill a drink, it's not going to hurt anything, which is always a good thing. Over here on this side, above your dinette, you're going to have more good storage. Again, pocket screwed cabinetry. So you can see right there, you've got great storage. There is storage under both sides of the dinette. I just don't have that torn apart today. Over here is going to be your pantry. So you can see that is a very deep cabinet. And then lastly, you're going to have your six cubic foot gas and electric refrigerator. So our pod does not use any of the new 12 volt refrigerators yet. I'm sure they will go to that at some point. Um, but as you can see, you've got good space there. It is going to run on propane and electricity. So with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the storage here outside of the bathroom. Let's go ahead and actually, let's see. I do want to mention this real quick. Before we jump to the bathroom, you do have a handy dandy power outlet right there. That is a very nice thing for, you know, if you're going to work at the dinette or if you're going to put in a coffee pot or something, it's really nice. And I get comments all the time. Why don't they put the outlets in the sidewalls? And the biggest reason is these have inch and a half thick sidewalls and the outlets are too thick to go in there. So they have to mount them up underneath the cabinets. But with that being said, let's go ahead, jump back, take a look at the bathroom. So as we step back into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice, you have a uh, little sink area there. So uh, very kind of small sink. You know, I can still fit my hand in there. Um, press membrane countertops. You're going to have good storage underneath there. Now, because of this big window, which is awesome, they're not able to do a medicine cabinet, but this bathroom still is not lacking in storage at all. Now, all of your windows are gonna have the pleated nightshades. If we look up top, you've got the larger fantastic vent fan. That is a whole house vent fan, meaning you can turn uh, or open some windows, turn this bad boy on, and it'll pull a lot of breeze through here. You've got a nice shelf space up there for some towels or things. Great storage there. I would personally turn this into a into a, a closet for clothes on that side. Good uh, toilet. It is a plastic bowl just for weight savings. And then over here, you've got a nice size shower. Now, they don't do the plastic surrounds paneling in this particular model. Because of that curved section there, it kind of makes it a little bit difficult uh, for them to do that. And then you've got the skylight up top. Uh, you are going to have about six, three of clearance in here. So I can stand in there comfortably. Anybody taller than me, um, you know, say six, five, six, six, you may have to duck down just a little bit. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump on to the outside and take a look at all the features there. All right, guys, we're on the outside of this 2022 R-Pod Model 192. And again, I apologize for any wind noise. It's kind of breezy today. So you can see that front windshield up here, or window, I guess I should say. Fiberglass exterior. You're going to have a power tongue jack, single 20-pound propane tank, rails for your battery, and a battery disconnect. Now, as we come around to this side, you're going to have four corner stabilizer jacks. Those are going to be the manual variety. And then in here, you're going to have tons of storage. This is all aluminum framed. Our pod uses aluminum cage construction, which is for to get this thing lightweight or as lightweight as it is. That's really what they have to do and or have to do. And then they do aluminum bed bases now for 2022. If we get up underneath here, 
you can see that you do have a fully enclosed underbelly. Now that is not forced air heated in the R-Pod, but it is enclosed to be able to give you uh, some protection from road debris. Now we're kind of tied over here, but you've got a nice size power awning that is gonna have LED light strips in it. You've got your porch light and outside speakers here, plus this really cool looking black glass entry door, which is always very popular. Um, the whole door is not see-through, just the normal window is. Tandem steps. This is a single axle trailer. Now, our pod does use the torsion axle suspension, which is an independent suspension with four inches of travel on each wheel, which is really neat. You've also got an amber porch light there. Your tires are gonna be Westlake Lion's Head tires. Those have a five year defect warranty, two years of roadside assistance, and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee for your tires. Now our pod also uses the Asdale composite sidewall. What that's gonna do for you is it replaces wood behind the fiberglass. And the big benefit there is this trailer cannot have any delamination in the walls, which is a very common thing, especially if you don't maintain your roof seals. So this is a waterproof, mold-proof, and mildew-proof sidewall the, because of the Asdale. It's lighter weight and it has twice the insulation value of wood. So all great benefits there. Right here, this rail right above that stripe is for the optional bush kitchen. That is gonna be a propane griddle and a prep table that will mount there. You're also going to have an electrical outlet right here for some power. Propane quick connect right there with that little tags flapping next to your rear stabilizer jacks. You're also going to have a cold water spray port. So this will uh, have a blue coily hose that plugs into there. And then you've got your black tank flush right there. Now as we come Around the back side, you've got your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition, square tubular bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire and spare tire carrier, roof ladder to get up to the roof to maintain your seals or to access your solar panel if it's equipped with that. Again, this one is not. Backup camera prep, all LED tail and marker lights. And then over here, you're going to have the back side of your refrigerator, back side of your hood range, and then you're gonna have your cable and satellite, 30 amp service. There's the dump for your black and gray tank, which is really nice, it's really easy to get to. Again, no slide outs at all. And then up here is gonna be the other side of your front, uh, pass through storage, and then your fresh water, and city water connections. So with that being said, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the 2022 Forest River R-Pod model 192. Hey, if you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, or if you like pricing and availability, I will put a link in the video description where you can check that at any time without having to talk to a human. If you do wanna give us a call, or an email, our contact information is area code 806-335-2336. You can also reach me directly. My cell phone number is 806-382-6274. Feel free to call me, text me with any questions that you have. Of course, you can always put those down in the comment section down below and I do my best to answer every single one of them. Or you can give us an email at contact at custom-rv.com. At Custom RV, we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. And we're, we've been locally owned and operated for 43 and a half years. It's going to be 44 in September. But we appreciate every single one of you uh, taking the time to watch our videos. We greatly appreciate it. Keep those comments, questions, concerns coming. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon. If you could do me a favor before you leave, Hit that like button down below. We greatly appreciate that. That helps us with the YouTube, YouTube, YouTube algorithm. 
And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell. That'll keep you up to date with all of our latest videos that we have coming out for you. And we've got some really cool things coming. With that being said, guys, that's going to wrap it up. We appreciate every single one of you taking the time to watch our videos. Quest, you know, Keep those questions, comments coming. We hope to see you out on our lot very soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day.